This is the night, it's a beautiful night, and we call it a bell. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. We started our night at IHOP. Yeah, because today is also Ash Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We don't have our ashes, but we're not supposed to eat meat today, so we right. couldn't have meat, so... We're like, what's a good thing? And we wanted to like eat out, couldn't be special for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And Sarah's like, I've been Jones for pancakes. Yeah. So like, let's and we go were, to IHOP. We were gonna, um, like this week, we were gonna have breakfast for dinner anyways. But let's face it, there's a lot of dishes when you like make breakfast at home. So this was like the perfect in between. So now we're going to. Because we got there, we left. Or are leaving. Yes. Here's our boat. We took. That's gonna be our or I hope that's our boat. It might not be. We might not do it for everybody. <laughs> but if that's not our boat, the next one will be. Yeah. We just took some time without the camera in the park. Just to scroll on Magic Kingdom. And then what we're gonna do is we parked in the TTC, the Magic Kingdom parking lot, but we're gonna take the boat to the Grand Floridian and take that little stroll from the Grand Floridian to the Polynesian, from the Polynesian to the parking lot. Just to, just to stroll, enjoy the atmosphere, and enjoy each other's company. Because I mean, we don't do that every day, though. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what our big Valentine's Day plans are. Yeah, we'll tell you about what we were going to do later. Dream, all dream, come true. So I tell you right now, one Valentine's Day, one Valentine's. You heard it first. I promise, I'll take you to Victorian Alberts. <laughs> oh my goodness. In some, I hope we're like 90. <laughs> in some Valentine's Day in our life, yeah. There's no time when we could be 90 or 190 or 28. Like, you never know. Okay. But I promise you, I'll bring you to Victorian Alberts on for Valentine's for Valentine's Day. Wow. If I had a quarter, I'd throw it. I'd throw it in this wishing well. This is some place we haven't been since we've lived here. Actually, it's right. Okay, so here are the bungalows. You can see those here. There's a path. The pool is, I don't know if you can see my finger, over there. You just walk the path like you're going to the TTC. And it is this small hill. There's Peter. Small hill that before, when we were, we came here before on the college program, um, there were no bungalows. But you still have a pretty good view of the castle. So you can still see the fireworks over here. But they don't pump the music through here, but I mean, you could still kind of hear it from the other places. and. Um, so yeah, there's two benches. We've been up here where there's 20 people. We've been up here by ourselves. We've been up here by ourselves. Like 20, 30 people. Yeah. It's, it's really nice though. Yeah. So this is just kind of like a cool spot. We're just gonna hang out. It's on the water. This is how just... you relaxfully <laughs> do Valentine's Day. Yeah. Guys, I don't know about this beard yet. It's slowed it's down. It's kind of with the people in the comments. They wanted you to do it or not. They were like strong, like very, you guys were like very emotional. They were like, yes. Or they were like, absolutely not. Now, give us your opinion on the new little date that we put at the front of the vlog. Do you like that? We had a lot of requests for it. We've got some yeses and some noes so far. Yeah, so. Unasked, but now we're asking you. So let us know down below if you <laughs> like the new like freeze date noise. It's just quick. It's a quick little thing. But we wanted to let you know, like, so we ended up not, as you saw, like, we had a nice and relaxing day, like, going IHOP, walking around Magic Kingdom a little bit, and then walking from Grand Floridian to Polynesian just to, like... No, Grand Floridian to the car. Grand Floridian to the Polynesian, to the TTC, to the car. Yeah. But it was just nice, like, relaxing time. So the other thing was, like, so this is our 10th Valentine's Day together, and we've spent most of our Valentine's Day going to downtown Chicago, going to Navy Pier, and going on the Ferris wheel. If I can find any photos, I'll either like put them on our story on Instagram or throw them in here or something like that. But 
literally just like a handful of times like i think one year was too cold so like the ferris wheel was, was frozen working. and then they actually the ferris wheel there is new they just redid it so i think there was, it was under construction a different year so like things have happened but we've missed a couple but for majority, the most part we've been downtown and then we usually get um pizza mm -hmm. So then to, Chicago. <laughs> yes. So today we were like, well, there's the Orlando Eye and we haven't been there yet. And maybe we can find pizza near there. Or no, we said IHOP because today was Ash Wednesday. So and we, Sarah's been joining for IHOP. So we got IHOP and we're like, so do IHOP in Disney or IHOP in the Orlando Eye? And we're like, you know what? We're like, let's not try to recreate something that was from our past. And like, we would, it would be cool to do, but it's also like, well, it's also still not. Yeah. Chicago. And we were we like were talking about our past Valentine's Day, like they were still very much so present, but we just were like it just wasn't it was funny, like we were wearing what we were wearing today and usually we're like bundled up going downtown. Um I'm gonna put a timeout right here. <laughs> Cause Cause you're Eve no and Eve's attacking a bunch of clothes. We'll be right back. The Orlando I is twenty five dollars a person. So we were like fifty bucks. We would have just gone out to dinner at Disney. It's kind of like a similar complex to Universal. Like, it's like for the past we went for Universal, it's like two fifty or two seventy for each of us to put like the down payment down as a Florida resident, which I think is like one day hopper plus parking or something, some weird calculation. So it's like hard for us to go to Universal on a buy a one day pass because it's like we might as well just buy our annual pass then. And the Orlando Ice twenty five bucks a person. I know it's a little bit different, but we can get a Merlin, which is the the parent company. We can get a Merlin annual pass. It's like Merlin Entertainment. Yes, for like 150 a person, and that would be, uh, Madam. Like the Wax Museum. The Wax Museum. The Ripley's, believe it or not. The Ripley's, believe it or not. The Sea Life, and I think Legoland, too. Oh, oh yeah. Well, let's we'll um, look it up. There's two but... different versions of annual pass, and so it's like so. Do we just wait and get that pass too, and then have access to all of that fun stuff? Rather than just going on the eye? Once. Once? For 50 bucks. I don't know. So we just decided. Our little... We just love Disney, so. Yeah. But it was nice and we just. It was different and new. Yeah. For Valentine's Day. Let us know down below what you guys did for Valentine's yeah. Day. Yeah. Just like relaxed, cool experience, mm -hmm. dinner and a movie. Yeah. We, uh, we've done a lot of. We've done a lot. A lot of variations of yeah. Valentine's Day. Like our first Valentine's Day, we literally ate Chef Boyardee ravioli by candlelight. <laughs> Classy. We were also 16, so give it give it some context there that I don't even think I was working. I don't think either of us were working. No, my gift was we were going to go on the Ferris wheel. So like <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even didn't even bring it to the Ferris wheel. I was like, we're gonna go Eventually. Eventually, but we're not going right now. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's a piece of paper. Yeah. I always made Valentine's anyways. Ten years oh, later. Actually I think remember when I got you M Ms with your face on it. Yeah, that was cool. And then they got bugs in my room because they didn't eat yeah. fast enough. Because I lived in a basement. Fast forward 10 years later, we live in Disney World. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, what else did we want to talk about? Um, oh, Sarah had this, like, vision. So Sarah was inspired by Bucket List? Yeah. Bucket List family. And so basically, our, like, our closets, like, we just have clothes from a really long time ago. Our closet's full, we have bins of clothes, we have drawers with clothes. So Closets I was of kind clothes. of just clothes like... Everywhere. We like went to Chicago for the birth of Violet and like we did we did laundry just last week but like we went a really long time without having to do laundry and then it's so overwhelming and it was just obnoxious. I was just like, you know what? Yeah. We have too many clothes. We have clothes that we don't wear. Um, and so I was like, let's just limit our clothes. We're gonna donate all of our basically all of our clothes. We're basically gonna do an entire sweep. And yeah. I think Sarah Sarah basically brought it down to like the bare minimum, like Yeah. Like three pairs of pants. Like three pairs like of pants. Like we live in Florida. Five pairs like of shorts. We can do a we can do small loads of laundry without being overwhelmed by an extreme amount. But like um, we're gonna do like the nice like the nice ones like nice quality yeah, nice things look. that are gonna last long. Yeah, so it's not like we have and, a shabby t-shirt the same well, like, one. Think of like this outfit I have on like I could wear this as just a like, tank top. Like I've t-shirt I've cut shirt has gone. No. Not keeping it. But like I also have like things that we are going to keep. I need work um, clothes. Like work clothes are different. Like some of our shoes. Like I want to throw away. I have more shoes than you do. Hold on. How does this look? Oh gosh. Like this closet here goes all the way back to this wall, and it's full of jackets and, and hoodies. Like we said, we live in Florida. And we live in Florida. I'm like, yeah, we'll need those when we go to Chicago. But like, we've been to Chicago three or four times now, and I've brought the same like sweatshirt and jacket. Mm -hmm. I haven't touched anything in there. So. Yeah. 
We need so, to do like a deep clean. It's almost like spring cleaning, but I don't know if spring exists in Florida because it's 85 degrees today. Yeah. So that's just like, we kind of want to, like it's funny, like we've only been married two and a half years, but like downsizing already, but just like. We've been together 10 years and yeah, because we we're like old people on the inside, we've been like collecting hope chest kind of things for 10 years. Yeah. And we're going to keep all that fun stuff. I get this guys, let us know. This is two asks for the comments. I want to give away. Peter wants to give away his coffee mugs. <laughs> like if you've been following for a decent amount of time, like he yeah. did a whole video on his coffee mugs. Yeah. Can we post that? Literally like post my grandma. Yeah, you know, like everybody people knows. know how everybody bad. Knows. And he wants to give them away and I was like. I want to keep like 12. We always thought we were going to display them, but he's like, you know, we have other stuff we can display. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, like, he's uncertain that I'm not going to be okay about the clothes because, like, like certain things I've had, like, literally since before Peter and I were dating. And um, it's like, are you going to be okay with this? So I'm like, no, I'm, the, I'm okay. About the coffee mugs. I'm like, are you going to be okay with yeah, it? Yeah, I'll be okay. I, I want to do something cool with the mugs, like, like, almost like Sarah mentioned, like, doing, like, how they, some people do art drops in the parks, but kind of, like, just, like, add a little card, like, this needs a new home, and, like, mm -hmm. put the mug, like, by partner statue or by splash mountain yeah. or do like, like a bunch of giveaways or... in these videos yeah so like let me so know down below we're doing like a sim simplifying we're not going minimalist because no. we have a lot of like stuff we cherish things. that we're not gonna like basically our home decor is not gonna go away at all right but everything else yeah kind of like minimalist yeah but that's because we just we cherish everything. Yeah. Which is why and we I always like tell you guys things. when we meet you or you leave comments often and you send us stuff like it is truly cherished because that's just yeah. how we are. We have like a shrine from you guys, like a certain spot. <laughs> and so. from every part of our life. Yeah. But with that it's it's one it's one twenty in like the we morning. Have more thing. I know this is a lot of talking at the end. Um My arm is hurting, which is why there's angles. Do you want like me this. to hold no, it? No, I got I just switch like this. This is the that's where we're gonna leave that in, and that's like true life vlogging right there. <laughs> Sore yeah. arms. Shoot, I added a bunch of playlists to our YouTube today, so if you want to go back and watch by park, we now have four. We have five. I did four parks in Disney Springs. Oh, nice. Thank you for doing that. Um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.